I really enjoy books in general and in the past few years I've been trying to collect books that appeal to me visually and that inspire me. So I wanted to share with you some of those books and some tips on finding inspiration with other people's art and work. Now the first one is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. This book really surprised me. I've been curious about it, but I wasn't expecting for it to strike me the way it did. The first thing that piqued my interest was the art. It was fairly simple, but with enough detail to make each character unique. And since I go for a very minimal and simple style, I try to find inspiration from artists that go for that as well. But the story itself is just so good and wholesome, really. I might even have shed a tear or two at the end. I finished this book and I couldn't think about anything else afterwards. The way the story is told, how much love it was poured into the characters made me want to invest more on my own characters. Even if I'm not creating comics, I want my characters to feel real, to have personality and for others to relate or fall in love with them as well. But this was something I didn't pay too much attention before. And this book made me reflect on that and start fleshing out my characters more to write more about them, get to know them, instead of just drawing them and be done with it. Now as for the next book, we have The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is almost the same situation as the book before. In the past few years I've been reading more comics and graphic novels as well as webcomics. Not only because it's fun and I enjoy reading, but because I realize that reading other people's stories will help in my art as well. I get inspired by them, I start thinking about certain details that I never thought about before and I started being more attached to my own characters and I know I still have a lot to work with when it comes to storytelling and it's something I've been working on lately, showing more of my characters and trying to see more about them through my drawings. But this is something I started to work on because I started reading more stories. And The Priest and the Dressmaker is not only a beautiful story with amazing art, but it teaches me that you don't have to tell an overcomplicated plot to have a good story. The plot of this book is fairly simple and it's told with almost no drama or sad situations. It exists, mind you, but it's done in a way that won't really make you feel down and it quickly develops into something happier and supportive. And personally, I think that's really important. We see so much drama in stories nowadays, like the shocking value is something that exists heavily in our media. And honestly, it's really refreshing to sit down and read about a story with very minimal drama where everyone ends up happy. This idea is also really appealing to me because I tend to want to draw happy things. I'm obviously not always happy and some people might want to draw their emotions, but I do like my art to be happy and for it to brighten someone else's day, just like this book did. Alright, I hope you're enjoying this video and if you are, do consider leaving a like and subscribe. This is a bit different from usual, but you'll find lots of motivational videos and drawing challenges in the channel. Now let's move on and I got here two art books, the Dragon Ball art book and Heikala's art book. I always really enjoyed watching Dragon Ball growing up and the artwork stuck with me along the years. I really like some of the characters design and even if my style has almost nothing to do with it, Dragon Ball is one of the reasons that made me want to keep drawing. I've drawn so much fun art from it, especially Bulma drawings and you've probably seen some of those already. And of course, this is not the only manga or anime that I enjoy, but it's probably the one that I've followed or know for longer, so I think it deserves an honorable mention. Whenever I feel uninspired or unmotivated to draw, I go through some of my favorite art books including this one and the artwork inside of it never fails to make me want to draw again, even if it's studies of the drawings I just saw. As for Heikala, again I don't draw traditionally, at least not a lot, but Heikala's art has always such a calm and serene feel to it and I kinda learned that we don't always have to draw art that is vibrant, energetic 
and full of movement, which is always something I struggled with, but seeing her art made me embrace that serene feeling and stop worrying so much about vibrancy in my own artwork. Art can convey so many emotions and we don't need to draw all of them. We can commit to one that speaks to us the most, draw more of it and keep on improving. And even though I mainly draw digitally, I occasionally play with some markers or even some watercolors and I not only go for a colors book just to look at the beautiful art from time to time, I do it to learn as well. Her book is filled with finished pieces, but also sketches and even a few tutorials. You can always learn something by watching your favorite artist's artwork. Now this one isn't exactly a book and more like a magazine, but I feel like it's worth the mention. The character design quarterly. It comes out every 3 months and it focuses on character design. It showcases lots of artists, shows off their work, their story and even some tutorials so you can learn more about creating your own characters and improve at it. If creating characters is your main focus then I highly recommend taking a look at this. You learn a lot with other professionals and you get to look at amazing art. And if you can't afford them or you're just not sure if this magazine is for you, they do have some free sample issues available for download. I will leave you a link in the description so you can check them out. So these are just some of my favorite books and that I feel will inspire anyone into drawing more or wanting to improve more. And what about you? What are your favorite books that inspire you? Tell me in the comments, like and subscribe for more videos and as always, keep on drawing!